children's story, He Boy Who Met a Real Dinosaur, Finn's Dino Doorway Adventure. Once upon a time, in a cozy house tucked between meadows, lived a little boy named Finn. Unlike other children who dreamt of spaceships and robots, Finn's mind buzzed with visions of towering creatures from a forgotten age, dinosaurs. His room was a museum of Dino treasures, plastic models, bone-shaped cookies, even a knitted triceratops hat for his beloved teddy bear, Rex. One particularly dreary afternoon, when rain pummeled the windows and wind howled like a lonely raptor, Finn stumbled upon a dusty book in the attic. Its leather cover held an inscription, Dino Doorway, for brave adventurers only. Inside, faded sketches depicted fantastical portals and prehistoric landscapes. A thrill Dino-sized shivered down Finn's spine. Could this be real? Armed with Rex tucked under his arm and a backpack full of Dino snacks, just in case, Finn followed the book's instructions. He chanted a silly rhyme about scales and feathers, sprinkled some glittery sand he found in the attic on the floor, and voila! A swirling vortex opened, shimmering with greens and blues like a sunlit swamp. With a gulp, Finn held Rex tight and stepped through. The air crackled with prehistoric energy. Finn blinked, and suddenly, towering ferns brushed his chin. Sunlight dappled through ancient CY cads, and the air echoed with the chirps of unfamiliar birds. A dinosaur, not a statue, not a picture, but a real, living creature munched on leaves nearby. It was a Brachiosaurus its long neck gracefully swaying like a willow in the breeze. Awestruck, Finn approached cautiously. The gentle giant lowered its head, sniffing Rex with curious nostrils. Rex squeaked, but Finn calmed him down, remembering his grandpa's words. Dinosaurs were just big animals, once loved like any pet. He offered the Brachiosaurus a dino snack, a crunchy leaf dusted with pollen. The creature took it gently, its enormous tongue tickling Finn's fingers. They spent the afternoon playing hide-and-seek among the ferns, Finn giggling as the Brachiosaurus playfully sprayed him with water from its trunk. Rex even bravely climbed onto the dinosaur's back for a short ride, leaving tiny teddy bear claw marks on its scaly skin. As the sun began to set, Painting the sky in fiery hues like a dino-drawn masterpiece, Finn knew it was time to return. He hugged the Brachiosaurus goodbye, promising to visit again, and stepped back through the dino doorway. Back in his attic, with a dino-sized smile on his face and Rex nuzzling his ear, Finn knew his adventure wasn't just a dream. He had made a friend, a dino friend, and his heart brimmed with the magic of prehistoric possibilities. From that day on, Finn's world was never the same. He learned about dinosaurs with even more passion, knowing he'd met one in real life. He dreamt of new adventures, new dino friends waiting for him just beyond the dino doorway. A reminder that even the most fantastical dreams can sometimes come true. All you need is a little courage and a whole lot of dino love.